Today marks 23 years since the deadliest terrorist attack ever to take place on U.S. soil. Nearly 3,000 Americans were killed and thousands are still impacted by those 9-11 attacks today. Today there are events taking place all over the Metroplex memorializing that day and those we lost. Our Beau Evans joins us now live from Grapevine where the city held its annual memori memorial ceremony this morning. Good morning, Beau. Good morning, Karen. Uh, DFW Airport is located in Grapevine, and that's why the city holds its remembrance event at the 9-11 Flight Crew Memorial, which is dedicated to those 33 flight uh, crew members that were killed that day. Many at today's memorial remember those crew members as the very first first responders. The event started at 7.40 this morning and featured remarks from firefighters, airline pilots, and flight attendants. People gathered, laid wreaths, held moments of silence, and lowered the flags to half-mast. Most importantly, they remembered the people who were killed on that infamous Tuesday morning. As we stand together, we also remember the extraordinary bravery of those who were aboard those flights that day, particularly the flight attendants whose courage and professionalism shone brightly in the darkest of moments. We do not run, we do not falter, and we do not fail. Americans run to the sound of gunfire. America has been and continues to be the shining beacon on the hill and is the greatest country this world has ever known. On July 4, 2008, the 9-11 Flight Crew Memorial became the first memorial in the country dedicated to those 33 flight crew members that lost their lives 23 years ago today. In Grapevine, Bo Evans, CBS News, Texas. Thank you, Bo. And other events are going to be taking place to honor the lives lost on September 11th. Today, Governor Abbott is honoring first responders at the Star of Texas Awards in Austin. And a Dallas school is also hosting a remembrance ceremony. That is taking place at Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III Global Preparatory Academy at Paul Quinn College. Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia is expected to be there. The event starts at 2 p.m.